Like the whole thing about the Phoenix is like reviving. Oh, see, yeah, thank you. Finally, logic. Like Phoenix down, like it's Final Fantasy's thing. At least they're not doing him like Aerith. It seems Ultima's power is too great for this vessel alone. I don't get it. What do you mean? Don't get what he's getting at. Is he gonna destroy everything? Even if it means the end of us. Also, shout out to the voice actor that plays Clive. My man did a good job. This is such a beautiful game. No way. I mean, this is definitely one way to get us to sit through the uh, the credits. Song goes too. She. 
Jill is still best girl. Best girl in Final Fantasy 16, hands down. What does that mean? Yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. Does that mean Clive is dead? not be dead. <laughs> not gonna be in Final Fantasy 16 too. Actually, that's probably exactly what's going to happen. 16-2 is going to be us maining Jill. And we got to go back and, uh, and find him because it turns out it was all a dream. Like Final Fantasy X. At last. Did our journey end? That's crazy. The storyline. There's only one gripe that I have with the storyline at all. And that is, I hate to say it, in its presentation, right? The presentation um, allowed for a lot of dead moments. I appreciated the vast majority of the voice dialogue. Uh, the motion capture was on point. The, um, um, the dialogue didn't feel too hammy. You know, there wasn't too many one-liners. The characters weren't exactly one-dimensional. There were a few that were. Um, I think uh, Titan's character was pretty one-dimensional. They tried to, you know, pull away from that a little bit by making him in love with Benedicta, um, who was also a little bit one-note. And then, you know, they, they try and add some depth by making her just want to be loved the entire time. Um, I think that the best character in the game, the best written character in the game was Sid. I thought that Sid's character was impactful. I thought that he, like, he, he chewed up the scene, the scenery. Like, every time he was there, you wanted to pay attention to him. Um, I thought that he went out like a beast. I, I was highly impressed with Sid. Um... Clive, I think, channeled a little bit too much of Cloud and Lightning. And I know, I understand that Final Fantasy, you know, Square Enix found a character design that resonates with people and that works. And, you know, Cloud's a fan favorite, Lightning less. But, I mean, for all intents and purposes, this dark, moody... I should probably be playing Batman right now. Character. I mean, I, I got no gripes. Like, it, it works particularly in the set. And the voice actor was able to portray some de depth, depth, excuse me, when, um, when he needed to. I'm also a big fan of, uh, of the voice actor. If you haven't already, check out his uh, Mario audition tape. Hilarious. Um... 
Uh, yeah. Uh, so Joshua, the only thing that I didn't really like about Joshua is for a little bit there, it kind of seemed like he was avoiding Clive when he didn't need to. There was absolutely no reason for him to do that and it just caused a little bit of additional drama. And, you know, I understand, you know, you want to lengthen, lengthen the game, you know, add that little melodrama in there. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Um, all of the antagonists as they would show up periodically felt like legitimate threats. Um, if I wasn't such a big fan of character act action games, um, I might have taken issue with, um, the, the difficulty of some of them, particularly Bahamut. Um, the Bahamut fight was... It seemed like it was way tougher for no reason. When the game takes control away from the player and sets you into kind of these scripted things, like, I don't mind, um... Uh, what do they call them? Uh, uh, quick, uh, quick time events? I'm not necessarily against quick time events, but when you have these scripted on rails sections in some of the fights it pulled me away it pulled me away a little bit um but i understand that some of those the, the set pieces are exactly that they're set pieces you need to you know put the character in a certain position so that you can do what it is that you need to do um the sound design I can't remember a single Final Fantasy game that I didn't go and try and download the soundtrack after, and this is no exception. The soundtrack to this game was incredible. I'm still, like, I will I will sit through all of the credits just because that's how good the, the music was. Um, any negative things about the game? Let's see. Because I, I feel like I'm doing a lot of, you know, singing its praises, and it's not me being a fanboy. It's that this is a well-made game, it, 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 it was feature complete. Um, I know I'm a little bit late getting to it, and they've had the opportunity to put out a couple of patches and fix some things that needed to be fixed. But um, mixing the open world with the linearity of the missions, I thought was good. Having these little self-contained biomes where you're able to just go adventure is good i know that there's a little mission replay feature I, I didn't use it um but i know it's there i feel like that adds replayability um i know there's a new game plus definitely adds um um replayability the only thing that i saw missing from a final fantasy fan standpoint is ultima weapon which you know i was gonna try and get it but i literally didn't find anything in the game that even alluded to it so maybe it's a new game plus thing and i'm probably gonna play it on my own time this is the type of game that i would platinum um so i'll probably you know go off and try to do that on my own time um because i knocked out about as much in the first playthrough as i could i guess um any 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 negative things ultimate ultimate weapon is in the game okay uh, so maybe I missed it. So I know I got the God of Damarung, um, which if you played uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, you know God of Damarung is broken. And it's the most powerful sword that I was able to find in the game. Um, as well as uh, the Sons of Ouroboros gear, or the Ouroboros, Ouroboros gauntlets and the Sons of Ouroboros braces or whatever. Um, I, was able, I was able to knock out all that. And the linearity of the game is not a bad thing. Um, I was able to find everything in what 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 felt like to me a good order. So it's I mean I don't have much to complain about. The side quests were the perfect uh, amount, like the perfect length. There was no wasted time with any of the side missions i felt like yeah some of the things it was like okay well why am i really doing this but everything you did got rewarded some kind of way particularly the missions that would help you like expand your inventory or you know when you get your chocobo um i mean there's there's just there's just a ton there's so much that the game did right um 
I need to look up sales numbers. I'm pretty sure that it sold gangbusters. I would not expect it not to. Um, if it didn't, I would honestly be upset. Uh, cause this this game, it, it's so it's it's feature complete. I'm I'm glad for it. I'm very glad for it. Um, if I had to put a number on this. I would probably rank this game a nine. I would rank this game a nine. Uh, to put that into perspective, uh, Elden Ring is a 10. Um, let's see. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake was a 9.5. Um, Ghost of Tsushima was a 9.5. So for me giving this game a nine, I'm, I'm putting this I'm putting this up here in the upper echelons of elite games. The combat and like the big thing for me, especially in the character action game, the combat needs to carry you. I did not get tired of the combat. I felt like they added enough stuff for you over the course of it that you never had to get locked into a specific play style. I went with what works for me. Um, but I feel like there's probably a ton of other builds that other people can do that will make them that much better than me, right? Um, the, I, I do, and I guess I need to search for it. I need to see if there's a boss rush because I would 100% like to see what I could do in a boss rush type of situation. I didn't use a lot of healing except in the segments where I was playing as Ifrit instead of just as myself. I, I felt like I was able to mitigate damage enough as well as give passive heals through um, like, um, what's it called? Your limit break to keep my health up. And then the plethora of healing items that I had, it was rare for me to, uh, to need, oh, and boom, Platinum Games, all right? Like Platinum Games DNA is all over this. This feels way more like um, but way more like Platinum Games than it does a Square Enix game. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I am happy. This was something that I was looking forward to. Um, and I was not disappointed. I was not disappointed. And I'm wondering how much Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is going to be. Is, is it? I'm wondering if that's just going to be a direct follow-up to seven or if they're going to take the things that worked here and add to it from a combat perspective um i mean at at this point oh okay so i can i can fast forward the credits a little bit because i think i think that's my my comprehensive review i don't know maybe because i'm i'm gonna get uh, big on this youtube thing Maybe I'll go ahead and review all the games that I beat on stream and just have actual videos for them. But that's my I just finished it. Let's talk about it. Review. Not a bad idea. Yeah, you know, I might I might do it. I might do it. I almost don't want to skip ahead because the soundtrack was beautiful. The game, the game did such a good job of adding emotion through the soundtrack. Maybe the next time I play through, I'll play with the uh, the Japanese voices just to see. I want to know what uh, Baby Girl Jill sounds like. Because Jill is best girl. Ooh, okay, post credit scene. Okay, Marvel. Oh, they look like Clive and Joshua. Really like it. <laughs> Never. Come on. I knew I had to find some room for you. 
right? Oh, now it's just a legend. Magic belongs in fairy tales, and fairy tales don't boil properly. You see? Well done. Now be a good lad and play with your brother until supper. Oh, that's wild. They just become legend. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You wrote a book? <laughs> oh, man. 